Alright guys, and welcome to another episode here of Happiness. <laughs> I'm Farming Simulator 17, playing the Super Series. And we are finally getting around to spraying gelatin. Now, the mini camera is coming up shortly. That is spraying field 18. I figured having field 20 on main video is better for us because we can get it done then. So field 18 is done. So this is the last one we have to do. And then we are done with the spraying, at least for now. Okay then, so. All on fold. All on. Please don't fall into the bloody banking. That would suck. I might raise it a bit. Okay, okay, so we're looking good. We're looking good. You'll see from the mini cam I did it on in third person. That was so much easier. <laughs> in real life, at the ends of the arms, you have like a foam. It basically deposits a white line, like on a football pitch. It uh, degrades pretty quick, but at the time, you can see where you've been. For us now, this is just going to be a bitch. Oh well, let's get it done. And that was not too fast, <laughs> either. <laughs> when I was in third person. I've got to watch this banking, because if I hit it with the banking, we're going to spin round. It has been explained to me there's a break back feature to these in real life. So if you clip on something, they just bend out the way rather than destroy themselves. Obviously in farm sim, that is not real. And I have not modded it in yet or had a thought on how to do it. So if that boom touches that bank, it, it's going to grab. <laughs> the tractor's going to spin. In fact, I don't know how much... I got like 35 minutes worth of video on field 18. It was that big, so there's going to be a little bit of it today, and I think the next mini cam is also going to be the end of it. But there was a part when I tried getting clever with GPS, it failed epically. I had to click the button three, four times to make it turn. It was ridiculous. And then obviously I started spamming it, so when it did start to turn, it cancelled it. <laughs> it ended up in a ditch. <laughs> I managed to stamp on the brake before anything too disastrous happened but if there was a proper damage mod on oh Jesus <laughs> I reckon the front weight would have been written off minor problems minor problems we can get around them I think the reputation of fast track has as being a spray machine it would be easier to see the end of the boom that door post is a real pain in the ass I mean, where am I actually sat here? No, that's the second seat. <laughs> Thinking what? <laughs> well, I am kind of in the middle of the cab. Yeah. I say with that foam, this would be so much easier. But no foam. So I'll suck it up, crack on. Uh, four wheels stay awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, handbrake explanation that was yesterday for the Monday modding. I can have at least two people that are interested in it. So hopefully the rest of you guys are having fun with it as well. The links were put there to Carl's old video with the sound files back in 15. It should be all good for you. It just adds a little bit more, doesn't it? The handbrake mod itself is cool. I like that. I think uh, Reefy said it in one of his recent videos. That the in-game handbrake is... It does its job, but we like control over these things. And this one's better. <laughs> He's going in the trees. Not entirely sure where the field edge is here, either. I think I might be driving on it. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of tell at the minute because the, the grass on the edge is more grown up than the grass that we're going to be mowing. So we'll probably get a bit of the edge grass as well because I ain't missing nothing. I'm really kind of concerned that I've uh, overestimated just how many bales we're going to get. Or that I've been told wrong. We don't seem to have enough land to hit the kind of quota we're meant to hit here. We need 125 bells a season to hit 500 for the year. 
Aside from the fact that there's a lot of bales <laughs> to do in farm sim. <laughs> it's, I'm concerned. Oh god, that was a bit weird. Yeah, having the camera underneath the monitor though, actually on that top shelf, it's, it responds a lot more to what you'd expect it to. Like when you're moving around. It's, I've got to get used to it now, because I was halfway getting used to it being up top and having to like stand up and down to make it go where I wanted. It's all muscle memory. <laughs> and I've screwed mine up. <laughs> yeah, okay. we're still in the bushes. I am not very good with this 15 metres down. Well, we're getting under there, I suppose. We're not missing anything, that's the main part. But now it's going to get interesting because here we do actually overlap, don't we? So I'll spin it round in the gateway and then I'll knock it off until I figure out where the hell I am. I think what I'm going to do is whack on some GPS here. Try it again. Right, drone power, so we can line this up. <laughs> okay, so, we're not in the offset, we need to shift the whole course. Is that right? No. If it does need shifting, then it's going to need to turn. Like that. It's useless at this end look, isn't it? Right, okay, let's move into position first with the drone. We'll reset the course. It's got plenty of fur, so I'm not too worried about that. There we go, that's better. Perfect. Right, golden. Don't turn it off, just knock it off like that. There we go, right. Turn the drone off. Ta da! Activate. Activate, activate. Awesome. We're in business. I presume. Leave the steering wheel alone. Just let GPS do its thing. <laughs> it would be really cool to have the foam on the end. I was thinking about it in 15 as well, I just never got around to experimenting. Uh, I need to learn a couple of more things, I reckon, before I can do it. I was saying that I did do the tillage mod, didn't I? And that put. Hmm. It's definitely something to revisit. It's in theory, I've already got all the bits and pieces I need. It's just turning it on and off. That's a problem. Uh, maybe that. I tell you what, if I can get foam on this thing as well, that would be epic, wouldn't it? I've got all the sections turning on and off. It's, it's a little buggy and it doesn't work in MP. Oh, it's the folding that doesn't work in MP. The actual spray arms do. It doesn't work with the front tank though. I thought I'd cured it. Apparently not, because it went batshit again. But that was after one four twos come out the patch. So it could be something to do with that. I can't release it until it's done. It's gonna cause a lot of problems for people. Because not everybody reads the description. They say it doesn't work with the front tank. People will use it with the front tank. And they'll complain, oh your mod's broken, it's shit. Well read the fucking description. <laughs> but the mod is technically broken <laughs> it doesn't work with the front tank so nah it's to do with the scripts that we've overwritten as well that's the only problem I say it's the only problem it is the problem we have to now patch it back up again which is a real pain in the ass. <laughs> There's parts of Giants modding that I enjoy, and there's other parts that are annoying. Like, with Ark, it's, I believe they call them hooks. It's in the dev kit, it's basically a tick box and stuff. But you can tie into features of the game just with that tick box or drop down menu. With Giants, you have to write the scripts, and it's not quite as simple. Not without some seriously advanced knowledge that I don't have. It's what makes this cool mod still beta because it's defeating me. Yeah, I'll get it there. I will because it is cool. If I get foam on the ends as well, oh, that would be the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? That would be sweet. 
But there's a thing that to think about as well, with cattle and crops being as real as it is, because I'm excited for that, will they have the foam? We'll see. We will see. Not long now. I'm excited for it. The way I am with Farmsome at the minute, I'm in a real good place for this game. I am so enjoying it. The only thing that can make it better is it being better. And hopefully that's what we're going to get with cattle and crops, at least a sniff of it. But we'll see, we'll see. It's only, it's an early access and it's only a silage thing. When we actually get our hands on it initially. And uh, Farmsome 15 is full game. And highly playable in my opinion. I really enjoy it. I mean, yeah, there's the bugs out there, but yeah, they don't bother me as much as other people. And the ones that are there, I can sort of live with and work around. We have got to be getting close to this now. Okay, I'll get off. Uh oh, way too close to that headland. I have to go draw near because I have to totally lost which line I'm on. And that one. Yep. Put the drone away. Not really should do is turn off that end until about there. But I can't see so yeah. Again that would be something cool with the foam. As to what we could do with in this, I could at least soil mod appears, I could build it into the plugin system on that. So it disappears. And I could at least study soil mod and find out how it makes it disappear. And the growth cycle. and you have a growth cycle it knocks it down a level which would mean gone so it tidy itself up that's one thing I really like about soil mod the whole thing in general but the little bits like the straw swath and stuff that cleans up it's very enjoyable I wonder how he's even going to play about with that this time because obviously it leaves a pile on the floor but if soil mod deletes it after the game all the piles of crap that you've actually got dumped in storage and that are going to delete <laughs> Deck of those stuff if he can f anyone can figure out what he can. But we'll see. It's the way farm sim is at the minute, do we we don't really need the full features of soil mod. There's the little bits like different ferts and stuff that were nice, but the game itself there's a lot to it. I watched him uh, buy Polar Profits charity stream the other day, BP gives back. I learnt then that you can actually put the conveyor on hired worker and it'll pivot side to side. I didn't know that. That is really, really cool. I think this field's done. Oh, really? I'm wasting that on that, so knock that down. Drone power. Wrong one. Ah! <laughs> Too many buttons. They're all cosplayers. I think we are actually done, aren't we? This is right up against the limit. There's maybe a sliver down here. It will be a sliver. How much have I just wasted going up there then? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, we're here, so we might as well get it done. Sweet! Awesome. Right, we have conquered. Hold her up. Back in cab. Ah. <sighs> well, that is our spraying done for spring then, guys. We are all sprayed up. We're going to uh, let it grow, mow it, tend it, merge it, <laughs> bale it, get it out of the fields, and then we get to do it all again. I'm just hoping that we hit enough. You're high, are you? Down you go. Thank you. If we don't hit enough bales, it's going to suck ass. It really is. It's going to cause me a real problem with paying that huge loan back. And meeting the uh, contractual obligations. Ooh, one button. That's going to be a real issue, actually. It will be a, a major problem. If we can't hit those 125 bales a season, <laughs> we're going to be in bother. But on the plus side, good news is Fitchtelberg is 
being prepared as we speak. I have uh, put some planning permission in, or applied for, to reorganise the farm and barns and such like. Get what I want in and what I want out, because there's, there's too much storage there and there's a lot of sheds that we're never going to use. So, we're taking them down. The ones that we're taking down out of problem, it's the ones we want to put back up. Always the way, isn't it? You take it down, you're putting something up that's the same height and pretty much the same size, just different. And yeah, issues, but eh. It's coming on, we're getting there with it. So all that's going through, hopefully. It's going to be a lot more open. We've got all the sheds we require. And a couple of greenhouses on the main yard. Because there's that much space there, I don't need it, I never will. So a couple of greenhouses as well. I don't have a wife anymore to complain about a big pile of shit outside the front door, so... <laughs> I am worried. All will be well. By the way guys, this is pretty much a short video then. We should have done the end of uh, Field 18 on camera. But, yeah, we're done. Right, so tomorrow we are going to go and Ted over Losberg. Losberg and all streams are currently cut, aren't they? That's it, got it on the floor. And Cobra and Chellington have just been sprayed they need to be cut yes I'm not keeping daily logs anymore I'm actually remembering this off the top of my head and I haven't played for a few days now I've done some shifts at work and I'm recorded up to date so yeah I'm remembering this stuff that's really cool I'm in farm sim mode not playing any other games either <laughs> right then guys we will catch you all tomorrow and we're gonna go check out that Kung Teddy do a bit of work over on Losberg get it done then we're ready for merging bailing oh yeah back up the merger because that thing is awesome playing with the baler the big square bales oh yes it's gonna be a lot of fun i just hope we hit 125 <laughs> we'll soon see thanks very much for watching guys we'll catch you next time ladies